<laughs> a lot better than it was about two or three weeks ago. But uh, oh. uh, look, it's uh, another great change room you know, to experience that. And the real pleasing part about it is being able to back up now and what we've been doing and uh, the little gains that we've continually talked about internally about you know growing who we are. And we said a few weeks ago that we weren't too far away and we're starting to show the work that we've been putting in works. Uh, and you know, the belief around the group is obviously continually grows off the back of performances like that. Obviously, you know, two big teams in the last couple of weeks, so it's uh, it's important for us. Where do you think it's been a major performance like that? Well, I've actually seen it quite often. Uh, you know, I've, I said the Warriors and the Titans game were very close. Uh, we've had you know probably a bit of a hiccup against Newcastle and Cronulla, but a little bit of confidence uh, around the group probably ebbed and flowed a little bit off the back of results. Like we started the season off against Melbourne and. And we put a lot of work into that and we're very close in that one and I guess belief and confidence has grown by what you go through and um, that rolled into a little bit of that second round and then you know we bounced back out of that and we had you know probably things um, unfortunately didn't go our way in those next two games so you know we'd be sitting in obviously a, you know, a different position but what I have seen over the last month is how the group has really galvanised amongst themselves and you know great leadership uh, from the players and you know, someone like Luke Brooks has gone through a fair bit in his career and what a special moment that was to see him kick the field goal there. You know, he's been challenged for as long as I can remember since I've been here and you know, and obviously he's got a, a good partner in Jacko now that's just working with him and they're, they're doing a good job together. Did you work on that during the week at all, practising that scenario with the field goal where Jacko's uh, yeah, obviously... We, um, yeah, we did actually do a little bit of practice there because uh, we botched up the, the last one uh, to, uh, last week, obviously, uh, we had two opportunities. We didn't take them, and, uh, but yeah, that's that's what you do. You you go back and look at the areas of what you need to work on, and that's what they did, and they they did a really good job there. How's the pain, mate? Yeah, his knee is medial, so I'm not quite sure. It, uh, I think it might be two weeks that one, so we'll see how we go there. But uh, yeah, every now and then you get lucky, so we'll see what happens. Coach is always raving about completion rates. Do you know what yours was tonight? Uh, it was up above the 90s, I know that, it was uh, 98, yeah, 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 and that's, we've been talking about that for weeks, and, um, you know, and that style of game, when you're playing teams that have been, I guess, at the top of the ladder, you, they're doing that continuously, and, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we've been able to win, win the completions, which is something there that every team talks about, but we're, we're starting to create that within, so it's, uh, it's an important part of winning the game. Matt, is, is the most pleasing thing about that completion right? the fact that there was, there was balance there too? Like, do you feel like you found your balance in the attack and you threw plenty at them while still completing at 98%? Uh, I thought we missed a fair bit, actually, um, in some of our attack, and, you know, the, the players themselves have been looking really uh, closely about what they're doing and how they're attacking, uh, and it comes back to such a subtle little detail in what you're doing. Um, we missed a couple out there uh, throughout the game, but it was pleasing that they just kept going back at it. I mean, I think we peppered their line there for a period of time in that first half. We didn't come up with something, but you know they held it, held their composure. Half time, they were very calm about what they needed to do, and they spoke about it, and they knew that it was going to be an 80-minute game, and uh, you know, obviously it turned out that way. I know, you, I know you say you missed a few out, left out there, missed some chances out there, and whatnot. Sorry miss some plays out there but just in general I mean from where your attack was three or four weeks ago to where it was today like compared to that Titans game Saturday is, is it as simple as Jackson and Luke and different roles in the halves? No, we, we've changed a little bit like we I said that uh, before we started the season that we we're tinkering with our attack and we wanted to change a few things uh, and we we missed out on a few things in those games where we didn't get that reward of winning um, you know people probably would be looking at us in the, in the way we were but um, I think you know, the, the work the boys have done in the last couple of weeks, um, you know, the, the spine, Jacko, Brooksy, Dano, uh, you know, and our hookers, they've really looked at how they do things uh, very closely and obviously now we're getting some rewards off the back of that by the consistency of uh, the work they're doing. Match. What when you were on the big losing run, what sort of benchmarks did you use for your players to say, you know, if you keep hitting these straps then things will eventually turn around, which you're now kind of seeing? I can't tell you. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I think yeah, we keep a lot of that internal. Um, you know, the players work hard at their areas of their game, so uh, internally the, the players know what we needed to do. And as I said, it comes back to some strong sort of leaders. And you know, Jimmy's been around, you know, and he's been at teams that have experienced that. So calling on that experience and understanding that 
you know, we are going through a period of time that if you stay at it, uh, and the gains that we're working on will work. And sure enough, over the last two weeks, we've uh, definitely shown that. Did you have a specific point with Damien Cook today as well? Because I think Reid Marnie kind of caused you some trouble last week. And Damien Cook obviously is a very talented hooker, and you basically shut him down from ice. Well, you work, at, work on, obviously, the opposition's strengths when you're looking at your defence. And those are the areas there that we um, obviously paid a bit of attention to throughout the week, yeah. Consistency has obviously been a big issue at the club over the last couple of years. How did you ensure you backed up last week's good performance with another one this week? Uh, the players do that. You know, it's uh, it's about individuals. Uh, I said through the week to the players. You know, individually we need to be accountable to that to turn up with the same mindset and build. Um, you know, you, you do build a bit of belief and confidence off various things that you do. And obviously the last two weeks definitely um, helps. But last week, you know, we were able to nail. Uh, you know, one of the top teams that's been talked about in the competition. So, you know, that, that then rolls into the different conversations that you can have throughout the week. So it was nice to see the players really positive through the week and, you know, we've got to take that forward now. Jimmy, we saw the video last week when Brooks ended the sheds and how excited you guys all were for mm. a lot of things. I'm through your emotions for him tonight. What do you know? Is that feel good? <coughs> yeah, it was just one of those things that's been building up. Um, Madge spoke about it. You know, and I said to James earlier, uh, the hunger from within is just there, you know, and it's backed by actions, and you can certainly see it. You see it around training, see it, and I've sat here and spoke about our training. I'm going to keep talking about it, but we've just got to continue down that alley where we've got to continue those standards and transfer them onto the field. But with Brooksy, mate, it's just uh, good to see him with a smile on his face. Um, you know, the way... <laughs> yeah, how that all came out, it was just unreal, and and for him just to sort of relax and and um, do his part, you know, everyone's obviously putting their hand in that. You, you've also been around fair few clubs for a long time in the NRL. Do you, mm. Have you played with someone A who's had as much scrutiny as Luke, and B, can you talk about how he handles it compared to other players you've played with that got fair bit of scrutiny? Mate, to credit to Brooks, he, you, you you know you won't see it, mm. uh, you know. I've, constantly sent him messages, you know, after a game or things like that, and he's just, yeah, thanks, mate, or he'll come into training, and, you know, he's just normal. Um, so I know he's got a good support system with his family and friends um, with some of the this, this stuff that's happened, but for, you know, us to, to do a job for 80 minutes, like Madge is talking about, you know, we've, we've had glimpses of it, but to do an 80-minute job, <coughs> you know, for Brooksy, for our heart, for everyone, for the fans, uh, it's just unreal. And, and Matt, like Matt said, we've got to keep going. James, so, what, Jimmy? Is the big call to move Jackson Hastings to halfback and give him control of the team, but... Um, I'll, I'll go into specifics, X and O's here. You know, teams, they... You know, Brooks, he, he's getting the, his hands uh, his hands on the ball. So team's obviously going to go, right, we're just going to go up to, to Brooks. You know, you have Jackson Hastings there, you have a bit of, you know, uncertainty there that you can go both sides. So, and um, Madge, you know, put him there. It um, gives us a bit of option and, and lets him sort of play his own game. So, um, you know, I won't sort of get too much into specifics, but, you know, that just kind of, Jackson Hastings being there helps Brooks, he play his game. Yeah. Special mate. Yeah, pretty special, mate. Pretty special. Madge, bring him in, and and, and, and those O five boys, mate. The, the legends of the club, and something we look to emulate. Uh, but yeah, Royce Simmons, uh, for what he's been through, he's got a lot of lot of friends in there. Um, you know, Ronnie Palmer's been around. I knew him at, at Penrith, and 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 Faz uh, said some words about him. Uh, after the game, and and all of them are true. You know, he's just a top bloke and a tough, tough bugger. You know, and obviously, no, everyone knows what he's going through. I know he'll get through on top. What about some of the injury toll? Um, what was the situation with Kelma? Uh, he was really crook. Yeah, um, he did all his COVID testing and all that sort of stuff, and it was negatives. But he was just really crook. So we've um, sort of been just talking as a group that the next person jumps in and has to do their role, and you know. Um, like Sufar did that really well for us today. Um, mm. Yeah, we lost Dano and Star went straight back to fullback, and yeah, we did his role there too. So um, the boys have been sort of you know working pretty hard on the changes at training to be able to cater for those sorts of different things because um, you know as we said at the start of the year, anything could happen this year with COVID and what goes on. So um, yeah, it's good. And what was the situation with him and Marlo at the end there? Oh, he's had a bit of a funny old knee. It just um, he should be fine. Yeah, it's something he's just been working hard at to fix up and being a short turnaround this week, um, it just got him. Mm. The last three weeks have been really good and mm. bad, both. But mm. 
what has changed amongst the playing group? What, what have you seen on and off the field with those boys? Because there's something that's just... There's something that's changed. It's obvious. Yeah, yeah, mate. I'll go through it again. We're, at training, we've, we've been doing the right things, you know, standards, everything like that. Um, and we've just had a, a bit of connection problem transferring the things from training to the game. And we've noted that, you know, we're going, what's going on? We're training well. Um, why would, you know, some passes haven't been sticking well or things like that in the past. You know, now these things are happening at training with the passes that are sticking in our tack and things like that uh, are happening. So, you know, we, we're just, you know, we just know something was there that wasn't quite connecting. So we've just made, um, you know, altercations that we make sure we have a... Uh, a, a better connection there, so um, that, that that was that's basically it, mate. We knew what we were doing at training as work, and we were just having the belief. And and it's obviously insane. with the two weeks, you know, it helps. Is it the same off the field with boys? Absolutely, at training, off the field. Off the field, just yeah. when you're with boys. With the boys, mate, it, it, it it's a close knit group, you know, and uh, you know, people talk about this word culture and throw it around, um, you know, things like that. But uh, you know, you'll never find a better 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 group of blokes uh, you know now again we and I've said this we're in a game that's um, based on results so we've got to do absolutely do a job there but mate everyone's coming to train and putting their best foot forward and, and loving it I reckon what we need to do Jimmy is probably thank you guys mm. um, you know the, the three or four weeks where we were absolutely under the pump mm. has brought this group together in a, a way that I haven't seen so Oh, they have. They've supported each other, and it's not nice, obviously, when you're you going through those periods. But at the end of the day, you know, we've we've gone through it, and they've come out the other side to to be a lot tighter. And you see that in the change rooms, and I see it at um, training every single day. So, thanks.